Hey everybody, welcome back. We're oh, playing God. Master Quest again. Uh, it's spooky. We're a spooky forest. Yeah, it's a little it's dark. Darn spooky. I don't know. I don't like this. Hey, sup? Hey. hey. That's the Lost Woods, by the way. Yeah. Steven, did you know that you're going to the Lost Woods? Yeah. I know. Ooh. 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 Ah, oh. I might oh. have to get closer. Oh God. Yeah. Yeah. Eh. Bullseye. Yeah. Bullseye. 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 Hey, stop shooting at yeah. my home. <laughs> hey, fucker. I like how your seed hasn't actually collided yet with the thing yeah. or whatever. Oh, well, you're never great. Fixed it. I have to give a neat present to such a wonderful person. Please take it. <laughs> Spits at you. Jesus. I got a bag. Good job. Oh, you know what? You fucked up. What? You could have upgraded your Deku Seed thing. Oh, no, I guess you can't yet. Never mind. Don't worry about it. I mean, Deku Stick. Hey. Hi. Hi. <sighs> Rangui. Rangui. Good to see you both. Uh, 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 uh. Do you want to oh hear God. what I said again? Oh, you fucker. Certainly not. Certainly not. Just follow your, just follow ears. your heart. Just follow your heart. Yeah. Tell him just follow his heart. Bye. <laughs> Bye. I love how after all these years we just remember the way to go. Yeah, like uh, fuck listening to the music. I just know. Yeah, even even Majora's Mask. Somehow I still kind of don't really know. Oh yeah. Um, the Lost Woods in there. It plays it plays a much smaller role, but um, I guess maybe that's why I haven't dedicated it to memory. It's basically like. I don't think that there's anything special in that one. It's just kind of like get to the end and that's where the witch is. Yeah. But this one, it's like there's all kinds of shit in the Lost Woods. You got to know about warps and shit. Mm-hmm. Like the Goron thing. Yep. Hey. Got him. This guy's a dick. Yeah. Oh, I got him. Yeah. You got him. You got him. Fucking die. I know. Fucker. This truly is master mode. Definitely. Is yeah. there anything in here? Ooh. Money, money, money. 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 What's the first piece of heart you, you generally tend to get in this game? Um, I guess it could be probably the one in the Goron City with the pots, or maybe the mm. one just outside of Goron City in Death oh, Mountain. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because there's a way, because normally you're supposed to get it by planting a bean and you fly up above where Dodongo's Cavern is. But there's a way you can do a backflip and, and just kind of land. Yeah. Easily get it. Yeah. yeah, it's pretty... Ow. <laughs> Ow. She just stabbed him in the face. I know. Eh. God, now I'm all wet. I know. I'm God. lost and wet. <laughs> Give me that song. Up. Ow. Fuck you. Yeah, fuck off, dudes. Um, I guess there's really no. Eh, fuck you. You <laughs> y'all ain't worth it. <laughs> y'all ain't worth it. Yes. Hey, bye. Yeah, she's like, you're not ready. You gotta do the chickens what first. What are you doing here? <laughs> what are you doing here? <laughs> <laughs> the Hylians. Yeah. I just take Sacred Forest Meadow down the 101 to Hyrule Field, and then you stood left at Kakariko. Yeah, I just came down from Hyrule Field, I just swung a left back into Kori Forest, <laughs> and then I went down to Hi Lost Woods, and I just hung a right right by the Gorons. I fucking love that <laughs> so much. This is so I go left in Laurel Canyon. <laughs> And Daniel I just made Kuvenga. a Yui out of 10, and Daniel. then I started driving up the 405s up into the <laughs> La Cienega. 
It's so funny. The, the best part is it's fucking true. Like, yeah, like they're accurate. Like It's so perfect, yeah. <laughs> Would you like me? Yes, sure. Yeah, I would love for everyone in this game to not be able to know how to play their instruments. Hold on. Wait. I almost got it. Link is like, am I the only one who knows how to fucking play this thing? Yeah. Like, you play it fine. Everyone yeah. else, no. That's weird. Your your ocarina awfully sounds like a, like a MIDI instrument. Yeah. Great, great. Sure. Steven, don't forget the song. I won't. It's a treasured friend heirloom. I think Link is looking at that ocarina like Joe in that in the dentist when he's how, how often do you brush three times a day? Marvel like, that they hung that painting. Yeah. 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 Oh my god. Yeah, I can't believe how they hung is it. This is this drywall? Is there a drywall? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's totally like Joe's face, like staring at that thing. Yeah, just kind of like looking a little bit past it, you know. Like. Yeah. <laughs> like when they met in the optometrist, when they made him wear those glasses, and like one lens was missing. <laughs> um, I know we mentioned it when we were playing Breath of the Wild, actually, but. I believe it was like almost certainly confirmed that the design for Adult Link in this game was based off of Leonardo DiCaprio in Titanic, which is fucking weird. Yeah. But uh, I'm kind of not even surprised because of he's such it was a the hunk. late 90s. Yeah. Uh, Damn it, Steven. I'm so used to pressing B and it just automatically chooses the bottom one. Oh, yeah, that's true. But in this one, no, it doesn't do it. Yep. God, this game sucks. No, I'm kidding. It's fucking horrible. The worst Let's Zelda play Breath game. of the Wild again. <laughs> yeah. That, ga that game ruins Zelda for every other game. <laughs> no, yeah. It's, it's like the kid who, who does super good, like way better than everyone else in the <laughs> test and fucks the curve up. Yeah, he fucked the curve up. <laughs> that's that's what that's what Breath of the Wild did for Zelda. It fucked up the curve for ever, all the other kids. <laughs> that's f oh shit, Skeletors. Okay, calm down. Do you right. think it's? Do, am I cool though? You're pretty cool. You're probably gonna run into a wall or a tree or something. No. No way. She do that bomb trick. Blast like through fucking walls and doors and shit. You like bomb it and then you like s fly backwards. Oh no, you're wet. I'm okay. Careful. You gotta go to Kakariki. I got here pretty fast though, didn't I? Sure. Yeah, that's like in this game, like you uh, you walk backwards and side hop way faster than like I don't know about side hopping, but I know for sure. Where are you going? Going to Kakariko. Oh, okay. Um, See, I'm already here. Yeah. Can I go over the bridge? Fall in the water. Yeah. Oh! Fucking sick. Oh, can I make it? Mm, no, I'm not gonna count that. So it counts. You waste so much time. Okay, it's not about saving time though. That's the thing. That's the thing about speed running. It's not about the amount of time you do it in. <laughs> it's how well you do it. Yeah, it's like how crazy the shit you do. Like it looks. To the average there's, player, and then they're like, nothing, "There's nothing about speedruns that say I have to do it fast." Okay? Yeah, exactly. You know, okay. Here's a here's a cool thing about this game. You know how like there's like day and night, uh, in towns yeah. that is like locked. Shit. You know, fuck. But there are times like this where it's like dawn or dusk, where it's not quite either. And mm -hmm. it's, like, really rare to actually kind of get in that zone. Like, it yeah. has to be, like, the perfect time. And I fucking love it. Yeah. But the only that... problem is that in that time, it's, like, in terms of, like, the characters being out and around. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it... it's useless, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. <sighs> That's but, like, true. the music hasn't started yet, which is kind of weird, you know? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, wait. I gotta talk to this guy. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's uh, Huel. 
Yeah. Ah. <laughs> yeah, kind of. Yeah, you, you gotta get the fuck out of here and get the music started. Yeah. Even my own Even son my doesn't own have a job. Son. Jesus. He just wanders around all day. They're all worthless, I tell you. Hey. Alright, calm down, okay? You gotta calm the fuck down. Huel. Bro. Huel. Loe. Loe. Loe, what the fuck? <laughs> You'll get a shot of that, Louie. We'll never not talk about Heelhauser on the show. Mm hmm. There it is. Yeah. Heelhauser Create TV. Is the music. Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh. Man, I really want my fucking sous vide. <laughs> I don't know what. What should I cook first? Tell me now. Hot dogs. Go. You got me good. Oh my god, you got me so fucking good. Holy shit. <laughs> oh my god. That would be such a fuck you to Gaten. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, he's like, oh my god, hot dog soup. That's my aesthetic. <laughs> Cooking hot dog. I saw, I saw, I saw a, uh, <laughs> a blog post of somebody who reheated frozen pizza in a sous vide. <laughs> and I thought that was pretty funny. You should, uh, you should just do that. Like, like, the first thing that you make, just send them a picture and it's hot dogs that you made in the sous vide. Like, ooh, they're slightly warmer. Yeah. <laughs> Cooked to perfection. <laughs> You don't That's, you don't get this quality hot dog if you cook it in a in a, anything other than a sous vide. Well, see, that's the great thing about hot dogs is that you don't really need to actually cook it. I mean, really, when you oh, yeah, cook yeah. it, it's really just to heat it up. Right, and that's right. the th oh my god, this chicken. Um, weren't you supposed to go up the ladder in there to get the one at the top of the hill? Uh, no. Yeah, I am. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Um. Man, you got me good. I just I mean, hot dogs, <laughs> like the one food that would be worthless. <laughs> um, I bet even even still, like even if it's worthless to cook the hot dogs, I bet they would still turn out pretty good. They it would no, it would it would ascend, no, I don't think so. Like, well, first of all, you're never supposed to. I don't think you're ever really supposed to put the food directly in the water. Without it being in a vacuum bag, unless it's like an egg in a shell, you know what I mean? Uh huh. I don't want like little hot dog parts going into the sous vide machine. Okay. Probably fuck it up a little bit. Um. I don't know, dude. No, seriously, what do you think? What like? I don't know. Like, what, if you had a sous vide, what would you cook? I would say, I mean, like maybe chicken, just because it's like, um, it's so hard to make. Um, normally. Yeah. And it's kind of saying, like, fuck you to, I don't know, someone. Yeah. Um, I might do chicken. The thing is, I should eat a lot more chicken. I eat a ton of beef. Like, when I go out, I'm always getting burgers and steaks and shit. Mm -hmm. And there, it's not good for me. Like, red meat is, is bad for you. Um, I and I should eat a lot more chicken. And I feel like I would cook a lot more chicken with something like this because... It's, it's like, easy. it's easy. It's like so hands free. You basically can't fuck it up, and you can cook it at temperatures lower than what like the FDA says, and it can still be safe to eat. Because mm. like, the way like salmonella works, like when you cook food to decontaminate it, uh, the function that tells you how much bacteria you're killing is a function of not only temperature, but also time. Uh, so, like, they always say for chicken, you gotta cook it to 165. But what that really means is, like, if you if you cook chicken at 165, then all of the, uh, like, instantly, all of the bacteria is dead. Uh -huh. um, but it's super dried out by that point. Uh, but if you cook it at, like, 145 for, like, half an hour then you're going to achieve the same level of sterilization. So you can have, like, super moist chicken without getting sick from it. Yeah. 
So that's cool. Yeah. I'm gonna eat the shit out of that moist ass chicken. Mm. Yeah, maybe I'll do that. I was watching, I got, I binge watched this fucking YouTube guy who does a bunch of sous vide stuff. And, uh, like, he's like, what's the best way to, to make a garlic flavored steak? Uh,. With a sous vide, and he tried like garlic powder. He tried the little jars of of minced garlic, uh, that you buy at the store. You know that like dad dad has. Oh yeah, in the um, jar there. Yeah. Yeah, he tried garlic paste, and he tried like actual garlic, like roasted garlic, and like you know, um, and uh, it turns out the best was uh the little minced garlic things that you get in the jar. Oh yeah. Which is cool, because I'm like, hey, that's the easiest for me. Yeah, just scoop yeah, exactly. them. Yeah, fuck yeah. So if I make garlic steak, I'll definitely do that. Yeah. He also, this was a little disappointing to me, but I'm glad I watched it. He put butter in the bat. He did a he did an experiment with the steak where he just seasoned both steaks with salt and pepper like normal. And mm -hmm. then put butter on the steak in the bag and vacuum sealed it. And then the other one, he didn't put butter and then did like a taste test. And the non-butter one was like way better. Oh, really? And it's, and yeah, and he was like, what the fuck? Like butter <laughs> makes everything better. That's a fucking fact. Like there's no, there's no arguing that. And so there, and so the conclusion that everyone in the comments and he had come to was the, a lot of the flavor compounds in the beef are fat soluble. So when you cook it that low and slow in the butter, the butter kind of like adheres to a lot of those compounds. And then when you kind of like clean out the bag of the Oh, it all kind of washes out. Exactly. Like all that fat. Yeah. And it, yeah, exactly. Whereas huh. if you don't use butter, it's all going to be there. Um, and I thought that was interesting. That's one of those things that's like you never really think about until you actually try it. So, when I cook steak, I'm not going to put butter in the bag. But I have seen people put, you know, garlic. They did garlic. They put thyme is apparently a really good spice to use. Mm -hmm. um, or, uh, or herb, I guess. Um, the rosemary. Yeah, for chicken, I'm definitely going to do, um, like, lemon and rosemary. And maybe a little bit of butter. I feel like butter butter with chicken would be better than butter with beef. Um, and fish, apparently, it's, like, really good to use butter with fish in a sous vide. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I would think so. Big time. Or it's just scoops thing... of tartar sauce in there just in the back. And then, mm. you know, there you Ooh. go. Oh, maybe dill. <laughs> oh, yeah, like some dill. Get some dill action in there. Ooh. Yeah. Um. Ow! Whoa. Uh, the thing is, like, with beef, beef itself has such a strong flavor that I can see the the dilution of that flavor with butter being an issue for sure. But with chicken, the fla there's like the chicken itself has such a mild flavor that I don't think that there's any. I think that adding butter would help it. Yeah. You know what I mean? I think it's different. So these are all the things I can try. Uh. You know, with my sous vide, so that's gonna be cool to, when I get that. And for only four payments of nineteen ninety nine, I can't believe it. Call now and we'll send you a free pack of ping pong balls to use in your sous vide. <laughs> Absolutely free, and except you for just pay shipping the and shipping and handling. And handling. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Anyway. Uh, Super Thomas Pros is sponsored by uh, sous the sous vide machine. company. The, the sous vide company. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, for real. I I'm just a food enthusiast. Mm -hmm. Like, we don't have money. Yeah, that's why we, we need these sponsorships. <laughs> Clearly, that's why we're doing this. No, it's not. Sous vide isn't actually a company. It's just a method of cooking. Yes. It's true. It act it so okay. So, so fucking let's throw some French hit, French facts in here. Sous vide means under vacuum. So in Espanol, in Espanol it means pretty woman. No, uh, sous vide means under vacuum, which means that in reality, when you cook sous vide stuff, it's only actually sous vide if you are vacuum sealing it, like we're talking about, and then cooking it in the water bath there. Um, but 
you can and, and the and the actual heating thing itself, the thing that cooks the food in the water, is specifically a uh, they call it like a a recirculate or immersion circulator. I think they call it because it's in the water and it's circulating the water like a like a fish tank heater. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, that's basically like you can just essentially cook steak in a fish tank. Like <laughs> if you turn if you crank the heater up, uh, that's what's going on. Um, but uh, you could cook eggs in a in a air quote sous vide fashion, make like really like precise soft boiled eggs, you know? Um, yeah. For like ramen and shit. Uh, but it's technically not sous vide because you're oh, not. God. Oh fuck! Oh, fucking ghosts! It's not sous vide because you're not gonna vacuum seal the egg. You just put it in the water. So there's there's some semantics for y for y'all to ponder while we get ready for uh, the next time on Super Thomas Bros. After you kill this fucking ghost. Yep. Yep. Fuck him up! Fuck you! God damn these fucking ghosts are tough. It's true. Yeah. You don't fuck with ghosts. That's the thing. That's that's the thing. Yeah, I can't that's, talk. I'm. That's a, that's usually a, a a you know a good rule is that you know, um if if you see a ghost, don't fuck with the ghost. Yeah. Because the ghost. Leave them alone. Let them rest. Yeah. In peace. Bye. Yeah. So bye. I, I was saying bye to the ghost, but I guess bye everybody else too. Okay. Yeah. I'm getting so tired that my words are slurring. <laughs> Like I'm not drunk. I I promise. He's drunk. I'm not Maybe a little. I'm, oh my god. I'm I'm I, I might actually be having a stroke. Hey. Thinking about those sous vide hot dogs. Mm.